Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, don't mind my hair or my headband or anything. I just wanted my hair up and out of my face and I just woke up and it's the morning time and I just really felt like doing a video today. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna be testing the ColourPop All-Star Primer as well as the All-Star Setting Spray. Now I know I just did this in my last video. I first used it on camera, but of course that was more like a first impressions type of video and today I want to do a wear test and really just put it to the test and see how it works. So of course I'm going to be using all of the ColourPop no filter products, so the foundation, concealer, and setting powder because I definitely want to see if these products work well with the no filter products. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and use the primer. Now in my last video, I had mentioned that I actually really like the texture of this primer. It's kind of more like a lotion-y uh, type of primer. I mean, it is definitely a little bit thicker than a lotion, but it feels overall very, very nice on the skin. So I really liked it and thought that it actually blurred my pores which is really nice so now if you watched my review video on the ColourPop no filter foundation you know that it did kind of crease in my smile lines right there so I'm definitely going to put the primer on right there and see if this kind of prevents the foundation from doing that this time because the primer does claim to be matte and blurring. Now, of course, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the no filter foundation. So just gonna pump a few pumps of this. I'm gonna be using a beauty blender today. Got a nice fresh and clean one and just start applying this to the face. And I really hope the primer works really well. It definitely did blur out my pores, so I'm assuming It'll kind of help blur out those fine lines as well. So just going to blend all of this out. So now for concealer, of course going to use the no filter concealer and just conceal underneath the eyes per usual. Just going to blend all of this out. So now that we have the foundation and concealer on, I'm just gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and just set the whole face with this. Now you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of this packaging just because it's so tiny and you know, dipping the beauty blender in there is a little bit of a hassle, but that's okay. I still thought it was a pretty good setting powder. All right, you guys, so base is done. Last thing to do is to go ahead and set the face with the All Star Setting Spray. Now, if you guys uh, saw my last video, I don't like the uh, spray on this. It's very aggressive and just kind of like sprays right out at you in like one glob. So I really don't like that. But for the purpose of this video, I am gonna try to make it work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it just, it sprays so aggressively and it sprays so much all at once. I just feel like I have so much setting spray on me right now. So definitely don't like the spray, but I just want to try it out with this nozzle and see how it works. Now I did also mention that the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray fits perfectly on here. So if you have that, definitely swap it out because it makes it a much more pleasant experience if you use it with the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray nozzle. So definitely do that if you have it. All right, you guys, so I have finished the rest of my face. So of course we're gonna do a wear test today and it is 9.03 right now. So yeah, I'm gonna come back around my lunchtime, which is gonna be around one o'clock. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next check-in. I have got to get dressed and go. Hey guys, so I'm back for my first check-in of the day. It is 1.39 p.m. And yeah, I'm just on my lunch right now. I think the foundation is looking okay. It's actually looking like pretty oily, but nothing like too bad or anything. So I am gonna blot real quick. And let's see how much oil I get. Ew, that is so gross. <laughs> so I am pretty oily to begin with, so that's nothing like new or surprising. 
but the primer and setting spray is supposed to be like a matte setting spray and primer and keep you matte throughout the day. So clearly that's not working because it got a little bit oily. So in that sense, I don't think that's working very well, but I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer in so you can see exactly what the foundation is looking like. Okay guys, so I'm gonna bring you in super, super close. Um, hopefully you can see this right here. It definitely is going into the little fine lines that I have in my smile line. So unfortunately the primer didn't really help and I think my nose is, yeah, it's definitely like creasing as well. So honestly, I think the foundation is still performing kind of like as it did without the primer or setting spray. So that's kind of a little bit unfortunate. You know, honestly, the more that I use this foundation and concealer, I kind of don't like it. I don't know, the more that I use it, I don't like it for some reason. I, you know, maybe it's just because I found better foundations out there that don't, you know, crackle and get into my smile lines and everything. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. I mean, I know my first impression was that I actually really did like it and I thought it was an okay foundation, but yeah, I don't know. The more that I use it, the more I kind of don't like it. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for this first check-in. I will go ahead and check back in with you guys around like 5.36 or so. And yeah, I will see you guys then. All right guys, so I wanted to give you a little bit more of a close-up. I feel like car lighting is always the most brutal. So here is my nose, definitely crackly. And you can certainly see all of these um, smile lines and everything. And you see how it's kind of rubbing off on the chin. And like we did use primer today, so don't think it's holding up so well. Anyway, just wanted to quickly show you guys that. So I'll see you guys in my next check-in. Hey guys, I am back for my last check-in. It is now 6.34 p.m. So it has been quite a long wear time for this foundation. I think the first check-in was at like nine or so. So it's like been nine hours of wear or something like that. I don't know. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I have definitely put this foundation through the ringer. Now I'm sure you can tell that I am quite uh, dewy. I'm quite oily. So where I live, it's been in the hundreds today and it has just been so, so hot. So my... My foundation just <laughs> kind of looks terrible. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys a close up again. So I don't know if you guys can tell like right here in this area, in these areas, it's just like getting all patchy and clumpy. Um, it's definitely like worn off underneath the nose, on the chin area. And yeah, you guys, honestly, it just, it, <laughs> it really doesn't look that good. So I don't think the primer or setting spray really helped the foundation. Now basically the same things did happen to this foundation uh, without the primer and setting spray. So I feel like the foundation and concealer and everything still performed as it normally would have. Now like I was saying before, like the more I use this foundation, like I just kind of don't like it. So overall, I think like my final impression of it is that I don't really care for the foundation it just gets all clumpy and patchy and definitely like goes into the fine lines if you have any and I don't know it just doesn't look that great but I mean of course mainly what we were focusing on today was the primer and setting spray and unfortunately Fortunately, like I don't feel like it lasted any different and I definitely did not have like an eventful day I was just working all day didn't do anything like hard or anything like that So I just don't think this foundation is holding up very nice with or without the primer and setting spray um, However, I still like the setting spray because I felt like it um, helped kind of melt everything into the skin and not make it look um, as matte and have it um, you know have more of like a natural finish so I do like it for that reason however both the primer and setting spray claim to be matte and I don't think that it kept me matte throughout the day so that is pretty much my review of both of them they're all right I do think the primer did blur the pores so I guess both of them do have their pros but they also have their cons so that is pretty much my in-depth review of these products I think you know kind of try them at your own risk they aren't that expensive they're $10 each but still that's dropping 20 bucks on a primer and setting spray so 
I don't think it's very needed. I definitely like other primers and setting sprays more, so I don't think they're terrible, but I don't think they're the best. That is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications for more of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!